In order to do topological editing in ArcMap, you'll have to either work in a geodatabase or you do it through the topology toolbar. In a geodatabase, you will have to first create a feature dataset. So you'll have to create a geodatabase. You'll call, give it a logical name. Then you will have to create a feature dataset that will be stored within this geodatabase. You'll have to assign it a coordinate system because in order for topological rules to be enforced we need to have a snapping or threshold distance in place and of course everything has to be in the same coordinate system. In this case I've assigned it a transverse Mercator coordinate system send it on LL27, which is the prime meridian of 27 degrees east, and it's in meters. Now, in order to do topology, you will have to assign feature classes to this feature data sets. So you import feature classes. In this case, I will import two. So I'm going to import multiple feature classes to this feature data set. And these are the two feature classes that will participate in the topology in this particular example. You can then simply add the layers that you'd like to participate in this topology. So you're going to either open them directly from the data on your hard drive or you can add them from your interface if it's already inside the map. So I would like my roads in this case and my zoning layer to participate in the topology. So you say OK and you wait for the process to run. You can see that it's running because it's indicating at the bottom here. It's finished, you'll get a notification. And here are my two layers. They have now been added to my table of contents on top of what I already have. It's called topology and they are the two features that I'll be working with. Now you can use this feature data set to create a new topology and this is where you'll store your rules. It's a wizard so it's fairly easy and straightforward to use. The first thing you'll do is going to tell you the cluster tolerance when things um, should snap together. It'll ask you which of the layers in the data set should participate in the topology. In this case it'll be both of them. You can also assign a rank. Ranking is based on um, when one feature will snap to another, the higher the rank, the, uh, re then the other features will snap to that higher rank. You can have up to 50. In this case, the road and the zoning are not, one is not more important than the other, therefore we will keep them both at rank 1. And then you'll add your rules. And now you have to think logically about this. For example, if I have a zoning layer, I don't want any of my parcels to overlap because that would be a problem or for example my Advin, my actual property boundary should never overlap which is actually what the zoning layer is. Therefore I will say must not overlap and I will add the rule. You could also say well the polygons also must have no gaps. That's not actually correct because if you look at the background view here is there are areas that are actually not property boundaries and therefore there must be gaps allowed. And other rules you can have, for example, for the roads, they must not self overlap either, that makes sense. Or for example, must not have any dangles, that is when there is an endpoint that doesn't connect to anything else and so forth. There are also rules that apply to points, but we don't actually have any points in this case here. So we've assigned our rules and we say next and we finish the wizard. Once the topology has been created, the wizard will ask you if you want to validate your topography, your topology. You'll say no for now and then you can add the topology in to see what it looks like. You've added the topology to the screen 
And this is normally what you'll see where the errors are. Error errors, line errors, and point errors. You don't see any errors yet because you haven't validated. So what you can do is you run it, you right click and say validation, and this will then validate your topology and it will check for any contravention of the rules that you have just put in place. And there you can see the errors indicated in the red colors. So you can zoom to one of these. And this is now an area error. You can find out what the problem seems to be. Now it tells me here that I have identified two features and I said my zoning parcels may not overlap or my, my boundary, my property boundaries may not overlap, can't have two in the same place. So this is an error. How you fix that? You start your editor. I want to actually edit my roads. Then you also need the topology toolbar. If it's not active, simply activate it by double clicking in the gray area or activate it through your customize um, window or menu item. You want to select which topology you're working with. It's a geodatabase topology because we set it up in the geodatabase. I'm going to select the items that I don't want. For example, that one there. I also want to know what the errors are. So this is my error inspector. You can close the identify button now. So this is my error inspector. It looks at the errors that are in your screen, in your view. You say search now, and in this particular map view, you have one error. There's a must not overlap rule which is violated. And as we said earlier, if you do identify, you can see there are two features that are participating in this particular um, error. So what you can do is you can right click the error and then there are certain things that allows, allow you to, uh, the software allows you to do automatically what it does it for you. So one of the things that you can do is you right click and select one of those predefined methods of fixing the error. You will right click the layer and in this option here, you can subtract, merge, or create feature. That's the automatic or built-in um, methods of dealing with these errors. And here, because we have two features that are participating, as we could see earlier, two features, we can simply right-click and merge these two features. They are actually the same. And as you can see here, the same descriptions and the information will be fixed now. So you can then validate the topology in the current extent and you can see that there are no errors that are actually shown up in this extent now, fixing the error. Similarly, if there are two rows that are overlapping, you can do a subtraction of the rows. For example, let's have a look here. You can subtract and the error will disappear based on that. And that is pretty much how you deal with topology. Once you're done, you should stop your editing, save your edits, stop your editing, and your topology will be correct.